right, this is Tracy Turner and Sissy Sullivan. And we're with Sullivan Turner team at Maybon Real Estate. We wanted to welcome you to the Sullivan property. quiet, serene setting. We call it Sunset Farm because we're actually, um, as you saw from the first uh, camera shot, um, that we are up on a knoll and uh, we have really wonderful views and uh, sunsets and just actually wonderful views of the enclosed fence paddocks on um, the driveway up and then um, a nice wooded buffer um, separating this 9.3 9 um, acre farm from its neighbors. One of the nice things that um, is, is very special about Hopeland Farms are all the trails in Hopeland Farms. Both Sissy and I have ridden on those trails. Yes, I had uh, Quincy lived at the original Hopeland Farm, uh, which is at the front um, along Banks Mill, and uh, I've ridden all the trails out here and it is really lovely it's one of the nice accessibility to the trail network and frankly accessibility to town and other training venues I mean, this property really is it's an oasis in and of itself you don't ever have to leave because you can just ride the trails but if you want to haul into the woods or bruce's field or high fields or ride out at the vista um, it's a really easy haul from here and then beyond the trails, there's also the availability of the amenities of that original Hopeland Farm. Yes, you can so. uh, pay a monthly fee of $125 to school at uh, the original Hopeland Farm, which has um, a jump arena and a, and a jump arena in the field, and um, or jump field, I should say, a dr little dressage arena as mm -hmm. well. So you can really work on all of your disciplines between the trails and uh, using uh, the facilities at um, the original 100-year-old, century-old Oakland Farm. And they're great facilities. Um, yeah. I had one of the most amazing relationships with my horse, Gabriel, here, um, riding through the trails and then using those facilities. So I can tell you from experience, it's a wonderful place to, to train a young horse. So we so. obviously think the buyer of this property is an equestrian. Very lucky. Very, um, very likely. Um, it's a really nice, quiet retreat here, though, if you just want to enjoy it as a private haven. Um, this home has been newly constructed uh, by Donnie Schaefer, uh, Big Al Foreman, if you all know him. He was the point of contact, and we look forward to showing you the inside. Before we go inside, we also yeah. want to talk about the landscape. Yeah, let's do that. So if you want to just kind of pan out, Becky, if you don't mind, to show um, all the wonderful infrastructure that has gone into this property. There's you know, a lovely driveway that has gone up along that front field on the left. And that's one of three paddocks on the property that interconnect with two additional paddocks that go behind the house and then over to the right hand side, um, almost into the tree line there. And beyond the, the fenced pasture, which is already ready for your horses, you have all this wonderful professional landscaping that has gone in uh, in front of the home along the tear, tear, tear uh, drop loop area, and then around the back of the home as well. And this ni these nice trees have been planted to create a green screen um, between um, this property and the property adjoining. And Jeremy Wall um, was the lead on all the landscaping work that was done here. Uh, so a lot of, I think, really good people involved with this project. And on the exterior of this home, you have a wonderful low maintenance um, exterior with your hardy uh, board type siding. And your nice brickwork, um, your stairs, and then your Sure, let's do it. Okay. So before we take you on the tour of this newly constructed home, I just want to give you a little bit of the nuts and bolts. Uh, we have a little over 2,000 square feet of interior heated and cooled living space, and we have nine foot ceilings throughout the home, and they're smooth ceilings, which we all prefer. 
Um, there's really nice moldings, chair rail, and um, a good part of the entry and dining space, and then it transitions to beadboard in the kitchen. Uh, we have red oak flooring. Um, there are also some really tactical uh, nuts and bolts here I'm going to share with you. There's a termite contract. The roof has that uh, tech shield to help with the insulation um, and heating and cooling. Actually, the R factor of the insulation is 38. And of course, we have 200 amp service here and a split uh, zone um, HVAC system. Okay, so that was a lot of detail, but you, important to know. Um, the house itself, we love this open great room with all this natural light. Um, that the light really comes to you from the front and the back of the home as uh, there's this nice glass transom and side lights surrounding the front door. Um, in the great room, we have the stacked stone that you saw outside at the base of the columns. Um, inside, defining the hearth and the fireplace uh, surround. And it's a gas fireplace, which is uh, super nice. The, the floor plan is actually quite versatile in terms of the living space. I mean, currently um, we have uh, this area staged as a dining room, but it also could be a keeping room because there's a breakfast room also tucked in on the other side of the kitchen, which could be your primary dining space. Uh, the great room just is a nice open uh, floor plan, uh, opens to the kitchen, which Tracy is going to tell you all about. Yes, yeah, I think it's really nice how they have in the dining room, you have more of a formal library paneling there. And then in the kitchen, you have this kind of fun beadboard paneling, which makes it really nice. This is such a great um, granite slab here with your bar top seating for three. So always a wonderful place to gather um, while you're doing your entertaining. A really nice wide um, and deep stainless steel sink. Um, so really wide enough for all those really big pots of pasta or uh, turkey platters, etc. Um, nice kitchen aid, stainless steel dishwasher, and um, you do have uh, a nice flat uh, stove top here and room for more pots and pans below. Uh, nice custom cabinetry. Um, you also have a nice pantry area here um, for all those additional snacks that are needed. And the red oak flooring continues throughout the kitchen. And you've got a really lovely breakfast space here, um, which is really nice to be able to look out, see your horses grazing in the back. Or you have a nice little patio, patio area there where you can set up, have breakfast, dinners, and enjoy lunches in between rides. Off of your breakfast, um, you do have a nice uh, closet here with built-in shelving, which would be great for linens and or additional pantry if needed. And then to the right, um, a really nice laundry space there uh, with your laundry sink, which always comes in handy, especially if you need to rinse out those um, boots from the barn uh, for riding, or you can even use it for a um, small dog bath area. And then behind you is an attached two-car garage, so great to come in from the barn into the laundry area. And then you've got a wonderful, gracious primary with this window wall. It's just lovely. You're almost um, you know, allowing, allowing that outside in, um, nice tray ceiling here. So you have probably nine, maybe 11 foot ceilings here in the primary space. Really nice, gracious room. Of course, fits a king size and um, end tables on either side. So you have the back pasture view. And then out this window, you have the side pasture view. Granite countertops will continue in the primary bath and really lots of great uh, cabinetry here for all those uh, things that you need to hide. You wanna keep a nice clean counter, a really lovely walk-in shower, a tiled shower, and I love the natural light in the transom above. Um, it's really nice. You can almost everywhere in 
this house, you can turn off the lights, not have window treatments because you really don't need them and have wonderful natural light. You have a nice private WC there. And then of course a soaking tub. And I love this great big walk-in closet um, with all your nice built-in cabinetry and shelves um, for all of your wardrobe. Okay, so as we go to the guest bedroom wing, I first wanted to show you that currently what is a screen porch is going to be enclosed this in the month of April. It's scheduled to be completed um, as an enclosed heated and cooled sunroom. So this it will be additional uh, living space, making the total heated and cooled living space uh, approximately 2,059 square feet. Um, as you have seen, that fabulous primary suite, I've been sitting at the uh, breakfast bar, snack bar here in the kitchen, and one of the things I just love about this house is you can look out to the front paddock, you can look out to the back, you feel, and then you saw from the bedrooms, you can look out to the large pasture where you would likely site a farm, and you can have all this visibility of what's going on on your property from within uh, your home which I know is a really nice added feature. So um, as we transition to the other side of the house, you can see there has been no lack of use of space. We have a little coat closet here uh, to my right. And then we have two guest bedrooms also with nice light and window space. Um, I love the doors with the, um, the extra trim. And then uh, we have a Jack and Jill bath or a shared bath uh, for these two guest bedrooms uh, with granite and nice tile floor. And again, just privately uh, sided uh, across from the primary. I certainly one of these could be um, a home office or you could put a door here on the hallway and kind of use this as a guest suite. So thank you for joining us for our Live or Later virtual open house at Sunset Farm here at 1047 Implement Road. And listen to how nice and quiet it is here. I can hear the birds chirping. Yeah, it's, it's really a nice serene setting. So please um, make sure you put it on your list to see if you're looking for horse property that is close to town. Um, this uh, newly constructed home has three bedrooms, two full baths, an attached garage, and approximately 2,059 square feet. You've got this fenced yard um, that is delineated from the three fenced paddock. And then you have one really large paddock that has a gate that's really um, asking for um, a nice barn to be installed. You are on well and septic here. We are in Aiken County. Um, we have low HOA fees, um, the ability to school at the original century old Hopeland farm and a really extensive trail network. And the other, the other thing I just wanted to note before we go to see is the design really did make it available to have that drive continue. There's a gate here to the right um, on this larger pasture here so that you could easily continue that drive right in there to the barn site right over here. So it's really thoughtfully designed and laid out so that you can have that visibility as we talked about before mm -hmm. and a really nice um, barn setting. And the fencing's already here, yes. which is great. And this yard is actually has no climb. I mean, they, he's really made it. This real, is already dog friendly. Exactly. Yes. It's already yes. dog friendly and really you can bring your horses in too. Yes. So all you've got to do is decide what um, further you need for your horses. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Uh, 1047 Implement Road. We'll see you next time. Bye.